guys. Oh, buongiorno. Come stai? Uh, we are at Terralina, crafted Italian. It is a lovely Italian restaurant. I've been trying to come here. It's in Disney Springs. I've been trying to come here for a number of years. I have heard raves about their Italian uh, antipasto tower. But we are, I'm going to show you oh my. the menu. All right, what I'm doing here. He's taking some pictures of the main menu for you. They also have a wine list. I'm not going to put that here. It's going to be, of course, online. Um, but we're going to figure out what we're going to do for our food and uh, tell you all about it. Oh, I like the glasses. That's fun. Um, but this is uh, right by the boathouse. I think that's boathouse. Um, but it's right on the water. You could sit outside on the water. Uh, we have been sat inside today. That's fine. Um, but it is a beautiful Italian themed space. Let me just give you a little view. They have already informed us they have gluten free bread, they have gluten free pastas, and they make the pastas from scratch. So we should be able to get a pasta if we wanted. They are known for that antipasto tower, but it does see serve you. Ladies, I'm going to go grab some water up here. Thank you. And our server has just said they're getting us water if you hadn't heard that. Uh, we're going to hang up and figure out what we're looking at here, and then we'll come back to you once we know what we're doing. We've arrived. We have an Italian margarita and the. Revered Heritage, the descriptions of which will show up here, and uh, Flame is going to try her drink first. And because I've been given a straw, and we have found that when you have a straw, you must drink you must drink. drink. All right, go for Okay, it. so, Italian margarita, because it has amaretto in it. Yes, definitely <laughs> a margarita with amaretto, and I really like that because it gives it just a little bit of a sweetness. Like to try some margarita. Oh, it's much milder. Like the tequila is there, but sometimes you get that overpowering tequila. This, you get this light citrus on the top of your tongue, and that amaretto softens it. You're right. It's really gentle. It's really nice. And I got lipstick on your straw. Oh no! Ah! Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, so now bourbon. It's, it definitely has the bourbon smell, but it's got a lightness to it, and maybe it's because of the depth in the glass. Very clear bourbon flavor, but not a bourbon burn. And then it's got this warm finish on the bottom of, of underneath my tongue right now, this sort of like that nutty warmness you sometimes get from a good bourbon. One more sip, and then I'm going to let her try it. <laughs> It doesn't have anything on the high palate, which hers does. It's really tongue and below the tongue, if that makes sense. You know where your, your, your taste receptors are? That's really cool. I like that. All right, she's going to try it now. Definitely like the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Complex. And again, like she said, no um, burn. A little bit of sweetness. I'm going to have another sip. Okay. I'll steal some more of the margarita later. I like that. It's really yeah. nice. It's very gentle. It's gentle and sweet. Yeah, gentle yeah. and sweet. Very much so. I, I agree. So, yeah. So, we're going to drink our wonderful... I love this. I'm dressed up. We're going to the theater tonight. So, we're all dressed, ready to go for the theater. Talk to you soon. So we have gotten some gluten-free bread and they've given us olive oil. We also ordered in the spinach and goat cheese salad, picture of which will go right here. Um, additionally, we ordered, they have a side of polenta and they also serve meatballs, which we can't have. But what I asked is, because I've seen this in other places, could you serve a sauce on the polenta, like a bolognese, a hearty sauce? And they said, well, yeah, I guess so, because we put the meatballs on that with some marinara. So I said, that would be awesome. If we could get that, that would be perfect. So we are also going to be getting a, a plate with polenta covered in some bolognese sauce. So uh, the picture of that will also go here, although I don't have it here quite yet. So welcome to editing. So I'm going to take some of the salad. Lane is preoccupied at the moment, which means more salad for me. Don't tell her, don't, she can't look, don't worry, I'm sneaking it all. It's lovely spinach, heavily coated in a dressing, lots of cheese on it, looks like it might be a blue cheese. 
maybe even some nuts and some goats. So let's get a piece of beet. Less beets than I expected, and a bigger salad than I expected. Okay, very strong vinegar on the vinegar. My tongue is already burning, but that's me. Um, flavor is very nice. The solid spinach. Mm -hmm. Let me see what kind of cheese this is. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a blue cheese. So this is. Ooh, and I think. Oh, I think I know what this is. Hold on. Who knows? Oh, it's not garlic. I thought that might be a slice of garlic. So it's um a light crisp, whatever that was. Kind of like an apple, but it wasn't. Um, this is lovely. It's a more savory spinach salad than I normally would get with a beet salad. And I, honestly, I look at this and I think it's a spinach salad with beets rather than a beet and spinach salad. So, um, I've, I've taken, I've shown you the picture of the polenta already. It is definitely a creamy polenta. I'm scooping some onto my plate. Oh, it's steamy and hot and beautiful. Um, we had to get a spoon for the table, and now we're gonna give it a try. Oh my God. I need a little bit of Parmesan, but I think this is, this is lovely. Mm. I'll try and go oh, back yeah. to that. I'm trying the beet salad. Mm. Nice fresh beet, some greens, vinaigrette, blue cheese. Good combination of flavors. Very excited about the polenta. Yeah. We got the ragu or the bolognese? We got the bolognese. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, that's good. Would you like some, some parmesan? Mm. Mm -hmm. Cheese makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Oops, I got some of the blue cheese. I don't want the blue cheese. Well, cheese. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this. It's quite lovely. Awesome food. We're going to eat these. Easy, my god. We're gonna eat these and we will talk to you when the answers get here. So, I got the Terralina Alfredo. It has chicken, sun dried tomatoes, and peas um, with the gluten free pasta. And so, I'm gonna try it without adding cheese first just to get the sauce in there. So, on lunch tomorrow, it's very basic Alfredo. With uh, tender chicken. Now let me put a cheese because you know everything is better with cheese. Cheese. Adding my cheese. Add your Parmesan cheese. Yeah. So nice um, pasta option here. Alfredo with peas and sun-dried tomatoes and chicken. So I had to, uh, got what is normally the shrimp fettuccine, uh, fettuccine scampi. It's in a Chardonnay buttercream sauce. Um, I can't have the shrimp, obviously. So what they did is they put in mahi mahi instead. I had asked to see if the calamari could be used, but they had already prepared it, so that wouldn't work. So again, we try it first without the cheese. Ooh, very soft, very light, and cut. And a pasta be both mushy and al dente at the same time. Certainly. Okay, good. Then that's what this is. The fish is lovely. Yeah, actually, even has a flavor of a scampi or a shrimp. I mean, all right. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Try a little bit of cheese on the side here. I don't know if it needs the salt, but I love the cheese flavor of the parmesan. Yeah, it just kicks it up that little bit. Um, there are also red peppers in this. I think yours had sun-dried tomatoes, right? Mine is sun-dried tomatoes. For mine is roasted red peppers and parsley. The pasta's a little gooey. So there's your pasta. Um, and it's not al dente, although it has some form to it. But it is a little soft, but it's good. It's very good. So, um, the only option for our dessert is sorbet. 
so we're not getting dessert here because we're in Disney Springs and you've got salt and straw and you've got um, Dole Whips. For now, I'm going to show you the check. Um, so with that, we each got a drink. We split two appetizers. We each got an entree. Um, they added an additional charge onto mine, be uh, onto hers actually, because of the gluten-free pasta. Didn't charge me additionally, but of course they went with a less expensive fish rather than the shrimp. I think that's what I'm guessing that's why. But it's a total of one twenty-four fifty with our 10% discount, and that was just off the food, not the alcohol. If you enjoyed this video, it's, if it's helped you figure out how to eat uh, gluten-free when you're at Disney Springs, then uh, please give it a thumbs up. If it's something that you think someone else might find useful, please share it along with them. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more content coming out. We still have a few more days here. I'll be back for Festival of the Arts. I've got a bunch of other things going on, so anything I can do to help you, put it in the comments. Um, I am looking to do, I'm at about 415 subscribers at the moment, but if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to be looking to do a small giveaway, nothing major, but just a little giveaway, once we hit 500 people. And if you are interested, please make sure to put a comment down below. Uh, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and you have to leave a comment, and I'll be pulling a random winner out of all of these sort of people who have commented on the videos. I hope this has helped. I look, oh my goodness, that's a big old... Okay, someone did get the ice cream. That's a big bowl of ice cream. Okay, someone that note, like, share, subscribe, all of the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. And I hope that we, um... I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?